is Nips. We zip tie and weigh down the yep. canopies, guys. You never know when a gust of wind comes by. Don't be like the guy when I was at Button Willow last time, Robert, who didn't strap down his canopy and then came back to my pit to discover his canopy had put a hole through my um, the opening on my northern light. His canopy went up and the leg, it smacked right into my skylight on top of the northern light. If you can see the skylight up there, guys. So it put a hole right in the skylight and I didn't discover it on the course until later on I was in the got into bed I'm like what the hell and I didn't know the guy's information it was too late but keep in mind everybody you are responsible if your canopy flies into somebody's vehicle you are paying for that damage this is what I was talking about guys my skylight so yeah I finally sat in bed and opened up the screen to discover a hole in the outside layer I was not impressed So these bins are awesome. I found them at Walmart. Um, I don't remember the brand, but uh, I'll, uh, what is it? Stir light. Anyways, I use a strap system with the e track, and that way they lock right into the bins, as you can see. So it's very useful. So I got my dirt bike gear, I got canopies, BMW parts, helmets, helmets, tire warmer suits, riding gear. And uh, Robert, before I come with you, so here's one table cover, and I'll get another one out. And, you know, you gotta have lots of gear. Yeah, let the OCD live. Snap a couple photos while filming video. Lined up. Beep, 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 beep. Right. Oh, oh, I gotta readjust. There we go. With the yo-yo nine spools. And forward. The funny thing, Robert, is I always spend more time setting up the racetrack pit for like two or three days than I do if I was camping somewhere for a month <laughs> with the RV. Right? I know. Yeah. I don't know why, but like I don't even put up a floor when I'm camping in one spot for like weeks at a time, sometimes months in the summer. Well, we're making good progress, guys, but our neighbor is still working on the same floor. You guys need any help over there? <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> yeah, just fucking with him. BMW one. I thought you said you didn't have one. Oh, I thought that was the Yamsol one. No. All right. Well, I better put my name on it. Mine's gonna be cleaner. <laughs> Oh yeah, that thing should be in a house. <laughs> it's only been used once or twice. Our pit is looking awesome, bud. This is awesome. The weather is so nice, guys. There we go. Gotta love the Milwaukee guys. I love my Seattle tools, but they don't have batteries. It's all about the lithium batteries. Hey 
Hey Q-Man, check it out, the Can-Am. As we all know, it's an awesome machine, but the front diff does not lock from the OEM manufacturer's setup. You gotta get an aftermarket setup, more money, bing, bing, bing. There you go, see, the BMX is getting its first use, guys. There goes more or less. I got these on Amazon, these ones. They're really cheap, thin material, but what I like about them is this Velcro, Robert. We got a, an inner Velcro that's gonna hold it really nice in place. So it goes like that, and you wrap them tight. Bam. So, and they're big, they hold a lot of weight. Of course, this is what's overweighting my trailer. Oh, sweet home. Nice. Looks like a good one. It's got its own freaking built-in pump. Yeah. It's awesome, dude. You can live at the track now. That's the plan. Three days. <laughs> Three. So, Marcel, just to show that I do listen, one of the first things you taught me was always remember to bring moccasins to the track. Exactly. Some kind of little slipper that some, you can... Some sort of slipper to, to, to wander around in. Well, look what I'm wearing right now. I know. I got to slip into mine. Yeah, these things are awesome, guys. Because you need airflow, and then obviously you pull out of your motorcycle boots, and uh, this way you're in and out of your shoes real quick out of the boots. <laughs> yep. So I'm just getting placement bud for the fan, and so I'm thinking I'll put it right there and have the power in the center island here for charging phones. This will be our what do you call it? The Starship Hub in the center. What's that called? Space <laughs> station. No, no, but <laughs> command center. All right. All right. That's the command center, guys. We're making good progress, guys. Very good progress. Our neighbor, not so much. <laughs> oh, leave him alone, Marcel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, next thing, let's get this thing set up. Step one, there's a button here. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, we're good. almost lost my thumb. And then you pull out the back, bud. Lift it up. Snap that together. The legs are already extended. You grab this. This goes in the back. Just like so. Locks down. And uh, there you go. There's also, you can get an extra piece that goes in the front and an extra thing that attaches to your bicycle, which I want to get on Amazon. I just got to ship it to you, bud. Uh -huh. You can drag it behind the bicycle. Okay, we're recording. So here's my generator box, and once you open that, and we can open the sides for access, and then open the exhaust side up, and we close that, and that's how I rock it. Now a little tip guys is uh, you go to Walmart or some store, you're going to find these little uh, ratchet devices to uh, use for your... Your wires, <laughs> wires, what the hell are these things called? Extension cords. So, lots of extension cords, very useful. Get them all OCD'd up together. Yeah.